Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday, and here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. Mhm. Mm yes. Um. But good morning. These went live last night at seven o'clock, and four of them have gone. So I'll show you which one. So this one has a home. This one has a home. This one, and Wolfie up here. So these four have homes. These four are waiting for homes. I'm very, very pleased with them. I spent all day yesterday um, finishing them off. They are signed on the back and protected with varnish. So they've got like a bit of a glossy sheen to them now so the artwork is protected. Um, strung them up with like all repurposed ribbons and things. Um, I wrote some little um, oatmeal recycled tags as well for them so they'll get presented with those. I'm just so so happy with them. I'm going to pack some of them up today, but I'll be honest, I am taking most of today off because if you can't tell, I'm feeling very run down. Um, so I just want to relax with some Inktober and pop a film on and just chill. Good morning. So it's Wednesday and it's time to now pack these up. I took yesterday off. It was much needed and I slept hard. Um, I wanted to show you the pencils. I think, hmm, when did I tell you guys about these? I think I said I ordered them on Sunday, but I ordered four more colours and they are stunning. I love these pencils so much for now. They can go and live in here with the rest of them slowly building up a collection and i'm going to start my dad's christmas present soon we can draw another dog together so that'll be fun for now though i'm gonna make a start unpacking these and the rest of your orders show you um i started drawing poison ivy because tomorrow's inktober prompt is poison um i was gonna go mm, poison apple is poison bottle then i thought about um the llama poison out of the emperor's new groove uh, but i thought i would test drawing um people because it's something that i tend to avoid it's like the main thing I avoid drawing because I'm not very confident with drawing people so I thought I would do poison ivy so I forgot to get it started with you guys but I'll just pop you on my tripod and then we'll do a bit of a time lapse.
Okay, so I've had um, a good couple of hours working on Poison Ivy today. I want to um, add some light like, shading and highlights and things like that. Um, but other than that, she's nearly finished and I want to do a different background. Um, the green here is just to like kind of, when it was all white, define where the circle was. So that green isn't staying there. I'm going to do something else. And I also forgot to show you earlier my new makeup bag. <laughs> Um, I'm showing you because you guys know I flipping love Miko. He is one of, in my opinion, one of the most underrated Disney characters. Please let me know who your favourite Disney character is. But Miko is one of my favourites. And I'll tell you who else is a favourite of mine. Lafayette from the Aristocats, you know, the Basset Hound. I love Napoleon as well, but Lafayette has always been... A massive he's just iconic i love him but i've never ever seen um merchandise or anything with lafayette on and miko is another one of those characters where you don't really see very much of miko so i was really happy i was looking for a new makeup bag and i looked in a few different places and i was like oh i wonder if skinny dip do because i do like skinny dip i've had um, a couple of bits from there before and I was so happy to see that they'd got a Miko makeup bag and I'm really happy with the size of it too so I needed a new one mine's getting old and tatty um, it's not the sort of thing I treat myself to very often like makeup stuff anymore but um, yeah it's just a little bit of a treat it was in the sale too which is amazing and it's black inside so don't really have to worry too much about any makeup potentially getting on the inner fabric but isn't it cute i absolutely love it it's very dangerous when skinny dip collabs with disney mm -mm. oh and by the way i've been burning this this week that vicky got me if you watched last week's vlog you may remember this she sent me a little bit of a care package but it smells incredible when was i burning this i think i was burning it on monday and i haven't had it lit since but the whole room still smells so festive and lovely mm. oh it just smells so so good i've run out of tea lights which is why i've not had it burning a bit more but i've got a feeling this is going to go a really long way because i only snapped the top piece off and um it's really strong but not too overwhelming and in your face it's lovely can't stop looking at these pencils they're so pretty Okay, so now it's time to go and get James from work. I need to put my gym stuff away first though. Um, I've been cleaning my oven today. I've taken the whole thing to bits and um, been cleaning the oven amongst other things. I've been getting my hinge on. Um, I've still got these pumpkins as well down here. Oh, I better put my rings back on. Does anybody else take their rings off when you're doing exercise? Right, let's go goodness hello everyone um it's thursday i feel like i've really been crap with the whole vlogging recently but i've been so busy which is obviously amazing so thank you so much for keeping me busy um i'm really happy to say that all of the wooden slices have gone i did decide to keep back the bumblebee because my mum saw it um bless her she wanted to come around and have a look at them all before they went to their new homes which is just so cute thanks mum um, and she, I noticed she really liked the bumblebee, so I've put it aside, um, and I'm going to give it to her for Christmas, she doesn't know, but I've kept it back for her, but the other seven have gone, thank you so much everybody, it really, really means a lot, um, I'm thinking of doing some more, sorry, I'm just having a bit of a tidy up so that I can get cracking with this last order, um, thank you to Amanda in Australia, I'm just packing up your order now, it's the last one on my list. I have some commissions to do over Christmas, well from now until Christmas rather, um, so I'm thinking of doing some more wooden slices when I get chance. Oh, let's put all these highlighter pens away, does anybody else love highlighter pens? Like yes, organised me with lots of different colours. But yes, I'm thinking of doing some more. So if you missed out this time, please don't worry. I'm going to do some more animals. Um, because I'm honestly so shocked and surprised. If I just put you there actually whilst I'm making up this box. Then I can talk and do stuff at the same time. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking of doing some more wooden slices. I'm actually in shock that they went especially this fast. And it just means so, so much to me that you are able to take a little piece of original art and keep it in your homes and you know it just it makes me feel really lovely so thank you so much if you've got one of them 
I was actually really emotional to see them go as well. Become quite attached to them, um, as you do with art that you create, but I'm really, really happy with it, so thank you. I can't stop saying thank you, but I do genuinely mean it. Thank you so much. So, yes, I'm just packing up my last order. This one is for Amanda in Australia. Pop that in there for you, my lovely. Not even sure if Amanda watches my channel, but... <laughs> Sometimes you guys, if you do watch my channel, you leave a note at the checkout <laughs> to say that you've, um, you're have you a subscriber, which always makes me smile. So thank you if you um, do that. Right, I'm just going to tie these together and then I am going to, well, shut down for the evening. Oh, actually, shall I show you the next Inktober piece that I've been working on? Can you guess what this is going to be? Just from the cat. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what it's going to be so it's going to be the prompt is salem and i thought rather than do <coughs> excuse me rather than do something witch based i thought i would do a slightly different take on it and go with thackeray binks from hocus pocus so it is witch based but i also binks was always my favorite character growing up he was he meant a lot to me when i was younger he was just so so special to me and i I bawled my eyes out, I don't want to spoil anything if nobody's watched Hocus Pocus. I'm sure most of you probably had because it's it's an amazing film. If you've not seen it, get on it. But Binks was always my favourite and very special to me. So I thought I'd draw him in front of Emily's um, headstone, gravestone, tombstone, whatever you would like to call it. So I'm going to be drawing Binks. Um, let me show you yesterday's... Yesterday's was Poison Ivy, so I think I did a little bit of a time lapse. I'm really forgetful at the moment of like filming my time lapses, but I did Poison Ivy. Um, she was very challenging, I'll just say that. Um, oh, this one's interesting. So this was um, the day before, and this is actually a collab with Leanne. So Leanne has done the rope and the rope coming down. I've done the rope around his neck. And I've done the voodoo doll and the text and Leanne has done like the gallows platform. She's done a gorgeous banner that I then wrote on top of and she did all of the rope around the outside. Um, and then I did the background and it came together really nicely. Like to say we didn't actually plan too much for this. We just both gave each other our idea. I think it was Leanne's idea actually. Give Leanne the credit for the idea because the prompt was tarot. So she very kindly did it circular so that it fit in with the rest of my sort of circular theming which was awesome because nobody ever said tarot had to be rectangular so um, yeah, there we go or did they I'm not sure but we've done a circular take on a tarot card and we did the hanged man um, and I just sort of fit scrump <laughs> of all the hanged things I could have done I have hung scrump so I'm very very sorry scrump but it works I really really like this piece and we were both like gobsmacked when it came together and saw it for the first time once we laid our pieces together it was a really crazy crazy special moment so that one was was it Monday Tuesday I don't know I'm really really behind keeping track of the days right now um Obviously this Hades, if you're a patron, you'll know that we sketched this out a couple of months ago. We did just like a pencil drawing. So what I did was I, to save a bit of time, I scanned my pencil sketch from a patron live video in. And I sent it to my iPad and um, just kind of carried on working on top of it and made this piece for Underworld was the prompt for this one. And then Sally, I'm just going to stop now because we could go on forever and ever. But um, I'm going to be doing a zine of all of these. So if you like them, I'm going to be doing a zine so that you can have the entire collection in a book. And it will be the same sort of format and size and everything. Plus a few pages so that every single day is covered. I think my usual zines are 20 pages. But if we do enough pages so that we can cover each Inktober piece and have it on its own page... I'm going to do a zine so if you'd like one let me know and um, it will probably come out in the new year maybe January would be a good time to bring it out February not sure let me know your thoughts
anybody ever cut string and no <laughs> right i'll save that string for another order another time let's try again there must be a knack like it doesn't happen often when i try and cut a piece of string i'm usually pretty good at guessing how much i need but there's got to be a way of knowing you see that that's probably just the right amount happy with that what was that about ellis come on now it's been a long week <laughs> oh i also whilst i've got you here god i talk a lot but i ordered what was that noise i ordered oh it's it's children children um i ordered some chocolatey bits to do a little bit of festive baking are you guys interested in doing a bit of festive baking because i ordered some chocolate and bits off um the vegan kind of supermarket so i will show you those when they get here right that's better let's just mm, yeah <laughs> everybody it's uh saturday and i've had a bit of happy mail this morning that i thought i'd show you so it's been a while since i placed an order with the vegan kind supermarket and i wanted to show you guys what i got because these are some of my favorite things ever these hazelnut praline 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 <laughs> i always say praline so please don't come for me if I say praline because it's what I've always said. But these are some of my favourite chocolate bars ever. They are so nice. Um, I just can't seem to find them in very many shops. I know Tesco's and Sainsbury's sometimes sell them but my local one doesn't. So I always grab some when I go to the vegan kind of supermarket. I also got a couple of bags of these um, 
Smarty alternative. So if you like Smarties, look, they're just like Smarties. They taste like Smarties. And I've got a couple of bags. We'll see how long they last, but I love to do Christmas baking with these and decorating cakes and stuff. So I got a couple of bags to try and save a bag for Christmas. Um, whether that happens or not is, you know, questionable. But I'm going to break into them in a minute because mm, I just, I love them so much. What else is in here? I got some crunchy bites. These are um, like honeycomb pieces covered in chocolate. So literally like a crunchy bar but in small pieces. Um, so yeah, there's a few of them. I think actually I've left the other ones downstairs. Got one of these to try. Um, it's actually for James because he is more of a savoury and this kind of snack person than sweet treats like I am. But it's um, a jerky seitan teriyaki flavoured um, strips so give that a go see what he thinks to that and then I've got some of these for the dogs never seen these before but they are um, plant based doggy treats and I thought I'd show you guys as well this month's um, paper gang so I can't remember which was the last paper gang I showed you guys. I actually got gifted a six month subscription, which was super lovely of them. I like to show you guys these things because I think they'd make really nice gifts as well. I can't get this out of one hand. What is going on? There we go. So this one, do you remember the Marine Life one? Which, the Marine Life one that was, I want to say May or June. It was earlier this year, but it's my favourite Paper Gang box to date. And they actually donated um, a pound from each box to the Marine Conservation Society, I think it was. Um, this one is a mental health one, which is another reason why I really wanted to show it to you guys. Because this week was Mental Health Awareness Day. Um, so a pound from each of these boxes will go towards increasing awareness and understanding of depression um, and depression touches a lot of us I'm sure most of us know someone that has been or has gone through depression or have experienced it ourselves so um, yeah I think that's a really nice touch so it's like a mental health based theme for this month let's have a look what's inside so I've come to the conclusion that I'm not the biggest fan of these planners, however, like, they're just a sheet of card, um, but I have to say, I pass these on to my friends, because they really like using these, they're just not the sort of thing that I feel like I get much benefit out of, but I know other people do, so, yeah, although I don't like it, I know other people do, but you get one of these in every single box. These things here are scratch and reveal postcards, so I think there's four, is there four? No, there's five. I tell a lie there's six so there's six postcards all with different designs and they've all got like little um words at the bottom i think we should probably do one to see what's underneath because you scratch the gold off and there's something hidden underneath and i don't know what it is and because this one can you see it's already got a little bit of scratching anyway um let's scratch it and see what's underneath So this one says you know you do you um so yeah that's those you definitely have i think you definitely have to put these in an envelope if you are planning on posting them just so they don't scratch but they are designed to be postcards so if you wanted to you could just write straight on the back and put a stamp on and away you go um but i would worry oh is that upside down i would worry about them getting a bit scratched on the way so i'd probably put them in an envelope but that's a cute idea um there are some pens inside so i think these are like highlighters um but there's like a brush tip at one end and a fine liner at the other so yellow pink orange and blue and to go with that there is a coloring sheet at the back it's an enormous sheet that says trust that beautiful things are coming so if you like coloring that might be for you but it's just a big fold away poster type sheet I know a lot of people actually benefit from colouring, so it's nice to see like a colouring activity thing within the box. As always, there's like a booklet in here that tells you about the artist behind the box um, and everything that they sort of work towards. If there is like a charity or a donation to do with the box, all the information is in here. So who designed this box? Oh, here we go. Meet Mel. 
so melanie johnson i'm gonna have to go and find her on instagram her work is adorable i love this pattern the most out of the entire box but this is like the best thing about the entire box and it's oh my goodness a really chunky book with like almost i think it is even a fabricy feel to the front cover but the design is stunning it's got a little bit of you know metallic um touch to it it's really lovely that's kind of like embossed debossed can never remember which way around that goes but inside is a really lovely layout so you've got at the top of it and don't want to bend the book so for fun i'm going to do and then there's the date there positive things for today timetable to do list and then on this side notes and doodles and then tomorrow i'm looking forward to and i think each page is the same um i'll have a flick through but there's a sheet of stickers in here as well so you can pop those in and they're like a glossy finished sticker every so often through the book though there's like positive affirmation pages that you could even cut out and pop on your notice board or something it's never too late to be your own dream self <laughs> let's have a look for some more oh so maybe these designs also feature on some of the postcards because that's the one that we scratched off collect feelings thoughts adventures and memories i actually really love this book it's stunning and i'm gonna probably pop it to one side to use in the new year because you guys know <laughs> i struggle with self-care and actually self-worth to be quite honest and realizing that i deserve to take time off and look after myself getting a bit deep here for a saturday morning but um listen to your gut trust it listen to your gut oh it's just a repeat pattern but uh, i think it's such a nice idea and i can't quite get over the quality of this book to be part of the subscription box is a really nice idea so yeah that was the october paper gang box and i wanted to show you guys because as you know mental health is something that is very close to my heart and i think it's always a great thing when a company decides to bring some awareness to it and even better a bit of a donation per sale so well done paper gang i like that a lot mm -hmm.